The recent clashes between India and China in the Ladakh area has put the defense forces of both the nations on high alert. Military deployment in and around the area has drastically increased, and both nations have deployed their latest defense war machinery including drones, fighter jets, artilleries and main battle tanks in high-altitude areas as the standoff continues. Ladakh is one of the most challenging places on Earth for tanks to operate. The thin air and temperatures in the region can plunge to minus 45 degrees Celsius. India has deployed the T-90 Bhishma and T-72 Ajaya tanks in Ladakh. T-90 Bhishma is an updated variant of T-90S, while T-72 Ajaya is upgraded T-72M. On the other side PLA has deployed Type 15 light tanks with other supporting armor. Although both T-90S and Type 15 are not equivalent to each other in terms of class and specifications, still they are deployed against each other. In this video we will analyze which one is at advantage in this harsh terrain. In terms of firepower Type 15 is armed with 105mm rifled gun with a thermal sleeve and fume extractor, a coaxial machine gun and remote weapon station, with 40mm auto grenade launcher and 12.7mm machine gun. Its main gun can fire APFSDS, heat, HE frag and guided missile, with range of 5000m. The 105mm advanced tungsten alloy APFSDS has penetration of around 500mm at 2 km. T-90 Bhishma on other side is armed with powerful 125mm smoothbore gun, a coaxial 7.62mm, and manually operated 12.7mm machine guns. The main gun fires 3BM42 Mango APFSDS, which has penetration of 450mm at 2 km, reflex anti-tank missile and heat rounds. Further the major requirement for tank to fight in mountainous areas is the elevation and depression of main gun. T-90 gun can elevate to 14 degrees upward and 6 degrees downward. Type 15's gun elevation and depression figures are unknown, but it possess higher values than T-90, as it is augmented by extrusion on the top of gun mantle to increase gun depression. In addition, it has got a hydro-pneumatic suspension with adjustable ground clearance. Variable suspension will permit kneeling action to increase either gun elevation or depression for firing in undulating terrain. The ability to engage targets at different elevations make Type 15 more suitable for high-altitude operations. T-90 is designed for the plains, its movement on mountain roads is slow and often impossible. Despite its heavy gun the limited elevation and depression will limit engaging targets on hilltops and in valleys. On protection domain T-90 Bishma tank is superior to its Chinese counterpart. It has a welded composite armor hull with a built-in contact 5 explosive reactive armor blocks. Protection is equivalent to 800 to 830 mm against APFSDS rounds and 1100 to 1300 mm against heat rounds on turret. On other side Type 15 is lightly armored to conserve weight. The hull and the turret of the Type 15 are made with all welded steel armor, which provides stand protection against firing of small arms and shell splinters. To increase the protection, Type 15 is equipped with advanced composite armor with explosive reactive armor. The ERA package used is FY2 which is light in weight. Further both tanks incorporate advanced soft kill active protection system. In terms of mobility the Type 15 light tank is highly agile on the plateau, it is a type of terrain on which heavy tanks can struggle due to the lack of oxygen to support the engine. It is powered by 1000 horsepower diesel engine and weight of vehicle is only 33 ton, giving it power to weight ratio of 30.3 horsepower per ton. On contrary T90 is also powered by 1000 horsepower engine, but its weight is around 45 tons, 12 tons heavier than its Chinese counterpart. T90 Bishma has power to weight ratio of 22 horsepower per ton. These are theoretical engine power values, and on mountainous battlefield due to lack of oxygen engine power further reduces. Type 15 already has enough power to weight ratio figure to compensate, and it designed specifically for this terrain, even the main advantage is that it can be easily transported by air. Two Type 15s can be carried by single Y-20 transport aircraft. 
While T90 already has its power at margin in order to compensate, it is not known in which configuration Indian Army has deployed T90, either with reduced weight, like without ERA tile or with fewer number of shells. Type 15s have clear advantage of mobility over T90 Bhishma, as their light weight give them an added advantage of navigating through the challenging terrain of the Himalayan region. The Indian Army notably lacks an analog to China's Type 15 tank, which is lightweight and compact platform. China is currently the world's leading producer of lightweight battle tanks, and no other country has invested significantly in similar assets, this leaves India in a difficult position in seeking parity with Chinese armor. Currently, to counter the Type 15, Indian Army has only option of deploying more handheld anti-tank missiles, such as Cornets and attack helicopters with anti-tank weapons. The procurement of lightweight tanks is critical for India because unlike China, India doesn't have an elaborate road network along the border, and heavy tanks like T-90 are difficult to transport and manage. One option for India is to develop light tank at domestic level, a proposed solution is creating a 34 to 35 ton tank by fitting a 105 mm Cockerell gun turret onto a K-9 Vajra hull, powered by a 1000 horsepower MTU engine, optimized for high altitudes. This too, could be problematic, as the country's previous attempt at an indigenous battle tank the Arjun, is around 20 years behind schedule. Another option is outsource the tank, the clear option is 2S25 Sprut SDM-1 from Russia. On Himalayan front, light tanks would add to the credible deterrence posture and warfighting capability, where main category tanks cannot reach.